Hello, and welcome to the primer on Time Traveler, Eleanor Anton as Mythographer of the Self by Amelia Jones. The Time Traveler essay is taken out of historical takes, which contains a collection of Anton's most well-known pieces. Starting with just a short bio on Anton, she was born in 1935 in New York City and began her career as a conceptual artist. According to Sol LeWitt, the idea or concept is the most important aspect of conceptual art. So basically you plan everything out and then the art comes out of that plan. Going back to Anton, she's currently a professor at the University of California, San Diego, but she remains an influential artist and filmmaker whose works use history as a way to explore the present. Now, I don't usually take from Wikipedia, but I thought this was a good summary of her work. She inserts her own narratives with its fusion of fact and fiction into the annals of history and uses her reenactments as poignant reflections on societal standards, biases, and ideals. The biggest topic in the reading is Anton's obsession with the self. In Time Traveler, Jones notes that by activating the self, Anton has explored across her career the most profound desires that enliven our relationship to history as expressed through visual culture. What Anton does in her works is create figures that people can relate to and project themselves into, which gives us a better understanding of what is going on in the piece. Because she focuses on having people project into the figures in her pieces, she challenges those who define identity, since anyone can project themselves into any of the figures in her pieces. Anton mentions that there can be multiple selves, even when those selves don't make sense. For example, Anton explores her male self in one of her earlier projects, which I will go into a little later. Having multiple selves makes it easy to project into the figures in her work because common identities like race and gender don't matter, which made me think of removing dualisms and putting everyone on equal ground. So these images are part of Anton's project, The King of Solana Beach, which was mentioned briefly in the reading. For this project, Anton takes on the persona of a king as well as her male self. She walks around the streets of Solana Beach dressed as a king looking for a kingdom. The project illustrates Anton's definition of the self, which is an accumulation of previous reports. This accumulation of previous reports is essentially how history gets recorded, and she was challenging that in the piece. Very early in the reading, there's a direct quote from Anton where she talks about her practice. She says, essentially, I invent histories. I found this to be an interesting statement because it sounds strange to say that someone can invent history. We normally think of history as something immutable, something that you can't change because it already happened. However, her works do not actually change history. Instead, those who observe her pieces experience them as reconstructed versions of history. So in a sense, she creates alternate histories. If we look closely at this piece, we can see what I'm talking about. This piece is called The Lovers, and it is from Anton's Roman Allegories series. Just by looking at the piece, you can see from the way people are dressed, along with the stone pillars and the statue setting, that makes you think of a historical Roman setting. However, there are some discrepancies that you would not expect to see in this setting. For example, the pillars and statue appear to be worn down and discolored as if years of wear and tear have affected them. In fact, you can see parts of the pillars and statue broken on the ground. Also, if you look closely at the male leaning against one of the pillars, you can see that he is smoking a cigarette, which again is out of place for that time period. It's almost as if the characters were brought through time to reenact the scene in the present day version of that setting. This goes along with a part of the reading. The figures and the images as a whole announce their status as fake while simultaneously cl making claims to truth value. 
In this case, the lovers poses as truth, but gives away the fact that it is fake. One final point that I wanted to touch on was the small discussion towards the end of the reading on Judgment of Paris, Anson's piece from the Helen's Odyssey series. I have both versions, Blonde Helen and Brunette Helen, shown here. The description of the, re of the piece is in the reading, but I wanted to mention it briefly since it is my favorite Anton piece because it is a more obvious example of the fusion between fact and fiction. You look at the three goddesses on the right, um, Athena, Aphrodite, and Hera. They're represented in a more modern sense. They're dressed in more modern clothing, while the other half, Helen, Paris, and Hermes, are dressed in more traditional attire for that time period. So again, this piece is this um, has that fusion of fact and fiction in retelling history. That's it for the primer on Eleanor Anton. Hopefully it was helpful, and thanks for watching.